Vidura College Grade 3 Mathematics Measuring Length Part 2 Okay children, let's see what are we going to learn today. Today you are going to learn about the meanings of length, width, distance and height. How to measure things using a standard measurement. And finally, how to record measurements. What is length? Length is the measurement of something from one end to the other. If you look at the picture given, the length of the bus is shown using an arrow. The length of the bus is 4 meters. What is width? Width is the measurement of something from one side to the other. When you look at the picture of this whiteboard, you can see its width is shown using an arrow. The width of the whiteboard is 2 meters. What is height? Height is the measurement of something from bottom to top. Look at the picture given. It is a picture of a door. The height of the door is shown using an arrow and it is 1 meter. What is distance? Distance is the length of the space between two objects or points. Look at the following picture. There is a house and a tree. And in between this house and the tree, you have a space. That space is what you call the distance. It is shown using an arrow and the distance between the house and the tree is 2 meters. Okay children, let's see what are the standard things you can use to measure lengths. First one is called a measuring tape. Next one is a meter ruler. And finally the last one are rulers. Children, you can use a meter ruler to measure the length and width of objects, distance between two things and heights. Look at the following picture. You can measure the length of that vehicle using a meter ruler. If not, you can measure the height of that tree using a meter ruler. Children, we use meter as the standard measurement to measure the length, width, height and distance. So, the symbol of the measurement meter is simple M. Okay children, let's see what are the steps you should follow when measuring length using a meter ruler. First, you must mark the starting point of the length you have to measure. Then, after measuring each step, you should mark the ending point. And you have to start measuring from that point onwards. Always remember that you should take the measurement along a straight line. And finally, you can count the number of times you used to measure the complete length. Now children, look at the activity done by a group of grade 3 students using a meter ruler. They measured the distance between two trees using a meter ruler. And they got the measurement as 5 meters. So children, the distance between those two trees is 5 meters. As you know, Meter is the standard unit to measure lengths.
then the standard symbol of meter is simple m. So you can write 5 meters as 5 m. Okay children, let's do a small exercise. Question number 1. Write the following measurements using words. So I have given you 4 measurements. All these measurements are written using numbers and symbols. What you have to do is you have to convert these numbers and symbols into words and rewrite them again. Question number 2. Write the following measurements in symbols. So the given 4 measurements are written using numbers and words. What I want you to do is you have to convert the words meters into symbols as m so the first one is 15 meters you have to rewrite it again as 15 m okay children now we have come to the end of our lesson i hope you learned a lot about measuring length width distance and height and how to record measurements using words and symbols I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you soon. Have a nice day.